Hello, my name is Amanda from Browns Volkswagen, and this is the 2020 Dodge Durango RT. The hood has a nice and easy hydraulic lift to open. Then under the hood, it's got a 5.7 liter V8 engine. There's fire shielding in the back there. All your fluids are clearly marked. And then you've got a sound shield on the hood to keep the cabin nice and quiet while you're driving. It also has vents on the hood to keep the airflow going. And it's got fully automatic headlights. There's the broad grill with the Dodge emblem. It's got 20 inch black rimmed wheels with excellent trade on the tire still. The side view mirrors have turn signal indicators and they are breakaway mirrors so they fold in and out. There's a sensor on the handle here for the keyless entry. The gas door is located conveniently on the driver's side. It's got broad tail lights that go all the way across the hatch. And right above the license plate here is the rear view parking camera. And it's got dual exhaust pipes with the spare tire under the vehicle. It's got the automatic power lift gate, which you can open from your key fob. Now looking inside the trunk, it's a little dark, but you've got plenty of space back here. And then there's extra storage under this panel here. If you need to stow anything away safely. And then it's still got carpet floor mats. And then the third row seating can be pulled up with this latch on the back of the seat here. Then to close the trunk, there's the automatic close button on the side. The interior of the vehicle is a nice black leather suede. Now in the third row, you've got plenty of leg room with cup holders on either side. Air vents and reading lights on the ceiling. Plenty of leg room in the second row bucket chairs as well. Also having cup holders on either side and in between here. And then it's got its own climate control switches on the ceiling and reading lights. And then right down here, it's got two USB ports and an outlet plug-in. And then heated seats with two levels of heat for each bucket seat. Now going into the driver's seat, you can see it's got power seat adjustments with lumbar support and memory seat positions. On the door, it's got power locks, power windows, and power mirror controls. To the left of the steering wheel is your headlight switch and dash light dimmer. There's your gas door button here. Then it's got a power adjustment switch for the steering wheel, which is a telescoping steering wheel. Also behind your steering wheel are the media controls for volume and the station switch. You can see the paddle shifters there as well. On the steering wheel you can make voice commands or start and end calls once you've connected your phone to Bluetooth. With these buttons here you can toggle through your cockpit display and adjust what's showing there. And it is a digital cockpit so the whole thing is a screen. The right side of your steering wheel has your cruise control settings. This lever here is for your wipers and blinker. And along with the keyless entry feature, it has the keyless start stop engine button. So just hold the brake and press the start button to turn it on. 
The infotainment system is a touch screen, so you can swipe through your menu, see your climate controls. The driver and passenger seats each have heated and ventilated seating. And then there's a heated steering wheel button there as well. It has navigation. And then you can access your driving assistant settings. The rear view camera shows up in this middle display with dynamic guidelines to make backup parking nice and easy. And below that screen you have some manual climate control buttons. And then the volume and station switch here as well. Here's your park assist button which will give you an aerial view of your vehicle as you back up to show what's in your perimeter. You can switch to eco or sport mode here. And then right there is your traction control button. And below that, in this compartment here, you have a 12 volt plug-in, two USB ports, and an aux cord plug-in. Right here, you can switch to all-wheel drive. In your middle console armrest, you've got a tray compartment up top, and then a deeper compartment below with another 12 volt plug-in. It has a lockable glove box compartment, so you can keep any valuables in there. On this rear view mirror is your emergency assist buttons. The vanity mirrors each have lights. And then there's the driver and passenger reading lights. And then right there is your trunk door opener. This vehicle does have a sunroof, so you can manually open the shade here and then use these switches to open the window. That is the 2020 Dodge Durango RT. If you'd like to come in and take a look or go for a test drive, you can reach me at 804-300-6381.